guys, I am Madhu playing Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. This is mission 18 of my Nero and Dante, Dante Must Die Difficulty Video Guide. I want to just say a couple of words before we actually start the mission here. So, this is a mission which is really, really easy, if you know what you're doing. Um, it does take a little bit of practice, and I don't play it often, so we'll mess up a couple of times, but it is an easy mission. It's probably one of the easiest in the game, um, if you know what you're doing. And I'll show you what to do. It's, it's really easy. Like... I could introduce someone new to Devil May Cry, put them maybe on an easier difficulty, give them a couple of hours, they'd be able to do it in no time. Like, honestly, it is not that difficult. You have infinite health. Not directly, but I'll show you why. You just got to bear with me for a second, and I'll show you why. There's a particular attack the Saviour does, <clears throat> and you can shoot these orbs that he fires at you, and they will give you Devil Trigger, which is essentially health. So what we're going to do is we're going to use Ebony and Ivory for this. And our goal is to shoot off those little crystals. So there are faults. Now, the reason why this mission is easy is because it's so easy to dodge the Savior's attacks. So what you want to do is you want to rotate around the map. You want to look for the attacks that the Savior is going to do to you. And you want to look for these things. Or alternatively, when he swings down, you can um, hit his hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on these little gems here. These are the ones. So you can just shoot these, right? You can just mash your guns and it will hit. Like, there is no argument about it. It will hit every time. Well, not every time, because there's some really weird situations where it doesn't lock on correctly, but, you know, nothing can really be done about that. I'm shooting his head crystal right now. Damn. So you see, I've got full HP and Devil Trigger. I'm. It's not hard to dodge all this shit. It's really not a problem. Do, do, do. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for another one of those beam things. There we go. Got exactly what I wanted. And we're just going to wait. Nope. Oh, he died. <laughs> Smoking style for that. Man, easy. Oh, it's actually the wrong hand. Hmm. There we go. So those things just give you devil trigger. And if you don't have enough already, then... That's all. Like, you can just grab more. <laughs> one thing I think that is really cool... Oh. One thing I think is really cool about that cutscene is, um... It will actually show the gems you've destroyed. And I thought that was really cool. Like, I thought that was just such a cool little addition to put in. So now I want to take care of the gems on the other side. You can just see how we've got just an eternity to dodge everything. It's not hard in the slightest. Might need a bit of practice, yes. Oh, he's locked. Uh, Nancy locked onto the wrong thing there. I'm going to blame the character, not my incompetence. <laughs> there we go. So if you don't have full health or full devil trigger, you can just farm those that he fires at you. Whoops. There we go. Nice and simple. And yeah, it is just an easy boss fight, which is why a lot of people don't like it. So there, as we go, we can just shoot these if we want. Whoops. Ah, oh, that fucking guy was there. Alright, if, if that fucking dude wasn't there, then we would have been fine. <laughs> but actually, this is fine. This is a good demonstration to show how much health and devil trigger you actually have. Do you see how I shoot these orbs that he's fired? Boom, I have full devil trigger again. Like, that makes this mission so easy. Nope. Actually, I am going to trigger this. Come on, Dante. There we go. Boom. So what you can do... You can swing at his hand. Get awkward hitboxes like I am. There we go. It stuns him. So then what you can do is you can just go over to his legs or wherever you need to get. There is one on his back as well. I'm actually getting devil trigger for this because I don't want to fuck around. No, never mind, I'm not. There are faults. Be wary of that. Damn. I was too slow there. No, fuck off. Ugh. Yeah, there are faults, be careful. They don't reset the whole mission, but it is just a pain in the ass that you don't want to have to deal with. Boom, got rid of him. There we go, and we're just going to take out this one on its back. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and royal guard the saviour's beam that he shoots in a minute. Not right now, because I don't know if I get a checkpoint here. Because what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> normally when I've died, I just restart the mission, right? Because I want to demonstrate how to beat the mission without using items and stuff. Because using items and whatnot is just cheesing the game. However, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and style. Because that first bit is so easy, like you saw there. I messed up a couple of times and I was still fine. But 
it's just not that hard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and Royal Guard this. I did not. <laughs> and if I fail, I am just going to... Um... Oh, okay. I, thought, I didn't realize it destroyed that platform. Okay, so when he does this, this is your DRI chance. Okay. There we go. Fuck. Okay, whatever. Guess I won't be showing off fancy stuff, Dan. Man, I really want to try and, like, bro guard that beam, though. I'll wait till I get more Devil Trigger back, because he's going to shoot more of those orbs, right? No. Aww. Man, I really want to try that. But I don't know if it's, like... I'll probably, like, die 50 times doing it. Oh, dear. Fire. Oh, wow. That was weird. I can't rogue guard that. I'm not confident in rogue guarding that because I don't know the timing on it. It's really weird. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> I'll stop trying to rogue guard till I get more health. Oh, wait. These pads are deactivated. What the fuck? Take this. There we go. More devil trigger. Look at that. I'm at full devil trigger. Like, that is a complete difficulty breaker. They shouldn't have done that, because it just makes this far too easy. Easy. Look at that. Easy. I have infinite devil trigger, and so I can just dodge everything easily. Now, of course, you could just, you know, not use this trick, and, like, take all this devil trigger for free, but god damn it. Really nice hitbox. Damn it. See, the hitbox is so weird there. I couldn't actually royal guard it. Like, I tried, but I didn't even take any damage. For once, I'm not actually just playing bad. Oh, look. More Devil Trigger. <laughs> uh, I'll die. Now, nah, I'll wait till I build up more health. <laughs> this fight could be over already if I was trying. <clears throat> but I just want to see if I can, like, royal guard his shit. Should I just use an item? Should I just, like, heal up and try it? Nah, let's do it legit. Let's not be little pussies. I don't use items. <laughs> and say what you like, but... <laughs> Damn. Okay, I'm not going to do it again on that. Damn! Fuck, I should have tried. <laughs> oh, that actually knocked him down. Wow. Okay, so when this happens, this is your chance to do big damage. Like, this could just end the fight. Possibly. Whoops. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> and as you see, easy fight. Not hard at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up some health again from all the devil trigger I'm getting for free. Because, you know, that's difficulty apparently. <laughs> that was sick. Oh my god. Look at this. Am I a god or am I a god? <laughs> oh my god. I am just too good at this game, man. Ah, oh, I fucked up. Damn. You know, it would be a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I fucked that up. All right, I need to stop because I'm actually going to die. But what would be kind of cool, actually, is, like, going into any sort of fight, right? doesn't matter what. And just have two people, like, see who can royal guard the longest, right? You're not allowed to do anything else. You're only allowed to royal guard to, like, survive. Oh, I'm not going to try it on that. I'll die. <laughs> Man, I'm having too much fun. But, yeah, you've seen this mission is piss easy. Like, with practice, a new player could beat this. Maybe not on this difficulty, because they would get punished too hard with the damage, but, like, even a new player could beat this. Come on. <laughs> Come on, just throw some orbs at me. Let me get some Devil Trigger back. Oh, man. I, I, I missed time my tricks to dash there. If you jump, it does help with that attack for some reason. Nice. But yeah, you see what I mean by you have infinite health.
Damn. I think you have to be in there for that one, actually. Should I just end this? Yeah, I'm just gonna end it. <coughs> oh. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that royal styling there. Mate, I am the king of the royal guard. <laughs> That was actually a lot of fun. I turned a shit mission into something fun. Can you believe it? Like, it's actually a cool idea. Like, I've discussed in the previous video. I can't remember for the life of me which one, but... I discussed how it's a cool concept, and there's a lot they could have done better, though. Like, for one, don't give the player infinite Devil Trigger like that. Like, strictly speaking, you have infinite Devil Trigger anyway, because if you, like, narrowly dodge something or you taunt, you get a bit of Devil Trigger. So, in theory, you have infinite Devil Trigger. But in practicality, you're going to fuck up and get hit way before you build up the amount of life back needed to make it worthwhile. But against that boss, it's just like, hey, you launched some balls at me? Do -do -do. Oh, I've got full Devil Trigger now. <laughs> but it kind of reminds me of in Devil May Cry 3, actually, because Virgil could, um... He had a taunt where he would stay stationary and he would just build up Devil Trigger over time. Now... That's fine, right? That's There's nothing wrong with that. But in the bloody palace, the chess pieces would just fall asleep. And the taunt, the, you have to be in a certain radius of enemies in order to build up this Devil Trigger. But the radius for this taunt building of the Devil Trigger was slightly larger than the amount to wake up the chess pieces. So you could literally refill to full health. <laughs> Made it pretty meme-y. Uh, eventually they did move on their own, but with a bit of dodging and a bit of spacing, you could like reset it and make the same thing happen again. So whenever you just came across a chess piece floor, you just had full health and devil trigger for the next fight. It's pretty brilliant. <laughs> anyway, bit off topic there. Next, we're back on to Nero missions. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of glad. I've enjoyed playing as Dante, as you've seen, I've done some really cool stuff. I've had a lot of fun, but... I'm just not that good of him. And when you, like, see the potential that other people... I know that I'm one. I'm always one who says, don't look at other people and feel bad about your own skill. And it's not that I feel bad, but I just... I see the sort of fun I could have and the fun that I'm just not. Because I just haven't put in the time. And I'm not prepared to put in the time. So I'm kind of glad to go back to Nero. We've got a boss rush and then the worst mission in the game, except for mission 14 coming up. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.